everyone, welcome to today's lesson on doubling. Now, if you remember, doubling is just the same as repeated addition. That means you start with one number and add the same number. So for example, double one is one add one. Double two is the same as two add two. Double three is the same as three add three. So I've enlisted the help of some ladybirds today to help us with our doubling. So if you look at this first picture, this ladybird represents double one or one add one because there is one dot on each wing. Okay, so double one is the same as one add one. What is one add one? Let's count to find out. One, two. Double one or one add one is two. Okay, this time the ladybird represents double two or two add two. Now, how are we going to work out what two add two is? We can count the spots. Now, do we need to count all of them like this? One, two, three, four. Do we need to count all of them? Is that the quickest way of doing it? Okay, well done if you said no. Now, if you did say no, why? Can you explain why it's not the quickest way to count the spots? Okay, so we know that it's not the quickest way because we can actually add by counting on, can't we? So we know that one of the numbers is two, well, both of the numbers are two, but we can start with the first two and keep that in our head and count on to find out what the total is. So two, keep that in your head and then count on three, four. And it will make sure that even when the numbers get bigger, you're much, much quicker at working out the total. So two add two, double two equals four. This time the ladybird represents double three or three add three. So let's try what we did before. Put three, keep that in our heads, and then count on four, five, six. So double three or three add three equals six. Double four, or four add four. Let's try again, keep four in our heads because the first number that we're gonna start with is four, and then count on five, six, seven, eight. So double four, or four add four, equals eight. Okay. Double five this time. Double five, or five add five. Can we use the count, can you use your counting on skills that we just practiced to work out what double five is? Pause here. Double five or five out of five equals 10. Okay, double six this time or six out of six. Pause here. Six add six equals 12. Double six equals 12. And double seven. Pause here to work out your answer. Okay, double seven or seven add seven equals 14. What about double eight? eight add eight. Pause here. So double eight is 16. What about double nine or nine add nine? Double nine or nine add nine equals 18. Finally, double 10 or 10 add 10. Okay, 
So double 10 or 10 out of 10 equals 20. Now your turn. So let's have a look at our activity. So in a minute, if you pause the screen here, um, we have a mixture of ladybird doubles. You've been given each um, number that is to be doubled and you just need to have a go at working out what the number will be once you have doubled it. So remember, you can draw pictures if you need to, or you can use any resources you might have at home. So you could use some Lego blocks or maybe some Cheerios to help you with your doubles if you make it practically, or you could draw it as well. Okay, so pause the screen here to write down your answers to these ladybird doubles. Bye.